But with this show, it's so much fun because it is, it's the mystery just keeps you wanting to watch it. Like I, I watched the first episode and I was like, well, I want to keep going. I need to know like 12 more things right off the bat. And so uh, for you, Tony, what was kind of the joy in like creating that story and knowing that like audiences are going to be on the edge of their seat, wanting to know what's coming next? Um, I, I think it's the fun of a cliffhanger. You know, I think what, when you do 30 minute length shows, I think you have to drive to that thing that's really going to pull people back. You know, you get more time in an hour to kind of explore things. 30 minutes is kind of like, here's a, sh a short, sweet snack. Now you're coming back for more. Now you want, you know, you've got to get them hooked very early. So, yeah, I think mysteries work in that 30 minute format. I, you know, and I think developing it felt, yeah, it felt like we can throw anything at a show like this. You know, nothing felt too big or too extreme, which kind of gave me a lot of freedom to write. Yeah, and Christoph, a lot of it falls onto you because I'm obsessed with this man who sat down with blood behind him and just was like, I'm ready to work. I don't care that some died in here. Uh, and so with characters like that that are kind of just like slightly on the edge of like, we don't know what their deal is and I kind of don't want to know, uh, where do you find like the excitement in them? Because you play a lot of them and they're all very different and cool, but they are a little unhinged when we get to actually watch them in action? Well, I mean, you know, in, in this specific case, you, you get it all in one because the, the situations change so drastically that, that um, it requires different approaches for Regis Patoff. So he can be the tyrant, he can be the bookkeeper, he can be the the therapist, he could be, you know, guidance, destruction, and and it, the choices are so wide that um, I personally had to, you know, pull the reins a little bit uh, tighter not to to escape myself and the story and uh, for matt this is essentially like a workplace drama which is very funny to like look at it like that where you're like well they are all just like if you made it a mockumentary it could be like the office version of this story uh and when you're kind of like approaching that from a directorial standpoint what is what is your goal in making this show still a workplace drama still a mystery but like it is just like people in an office that's the fun of it really is that you are doing all of those things at the same time there's thriller there's comedy there's workplace drama um you want it to be relatable but at the same time you also have to respect the the influence of patoff you know so we worked on designing this beautiful space where the office of, you know, Patoff was so central, um, you know, looming over everybody. There was hierarchy to the managers were above the worker drones down, but it all felt very familiar to how offices are built. Um, and then we have this just giant wall of screen so that you're constantly, you know, being inundated with imagery from these kind of juvenile, you know, uh, cell phone games happening all the time, standing in kind of ironic juxtaposition to this kind of clean old world energy that's coming in from Patoff. So you have a real tension between those two. And so that was a lot of fun, just kind of building a sandbox where Kristoff could come in and take over and affect everybody um, around him. Uh, yeah, I I love it. I can't wait for my mom to have a million questions for me and ask me every single week, what, what does this mean? And I have to explain it to her. Um, and thank you guys so much for talking with me today.